welcome into Texans today, everybody. I'm your host, Jeremy Chuggs, and I know there's a lot of people that are going to be watching this video, but I want to reach one person and one person only, and his name is Nick Casario, the GM of the Houston Texans. Listen up, and I want to tell you a message straight from me to you, Nick. If you want to save the Texans season and have them be a Super Bowl, I'm going to use the C word, they use it in Australia a lot, contender, if you want to be a contender this year, you got to make a move. You got to make a trade at the trade deadline. You need to fix this team if we want any chance to compete with the big dogs, with the Ravens, with the Chiefs this year, because this past Thursday night proved one thing and one thing only. This Texans team is not complete and it is not ready to contend in the AFC. So listen up, Casario. Watch today's video, make a move, and let's make something happen. And if it's not just me saying it, because it's, it's one thing, just a guy on YouTube saying we need to make a change. I want to hear from every single person that watches this video. And Nick Casario, if you're watching, let me know down in the comments if you believe the Texans need to make a trade at the deadline. Give me a yes or give me a no. I want to hear from every single person that clicked into today's video if the Texans need to make a trade at the trade deadline. I'm going to go with yes. To contend, you need to improve. So I'm going to give you a bunch of names today. I'm going to give you a bunch of guys that the Texans could possibly go out and trade for as the November 5th trade deadline gets closer and closer. The biggest thing that's happening on November 5th is the NFL trade deadline. And let's get into my first target off the jump, Dylan Parham, offensive lineman from the Las Vegas Raiders. He has, you know, dealt with some injury issues and then also there's kind of a back and forth of whether or not him and the current coaching staff get along right now what I do know is he's a very versatile player he can play center he can play guard and I think he's a big upgrade to what the Texans have right now on the interior I like Dylan Parham I think out of everybody on this list he might be the most attainable and the best player that the Texans could possibly get right now if I'm the person sitting there with Nick Casario if I'm the GM I'm trying to call the Raiders and see what they can get for Dylan Parham. Next name on the list, Evan Neal from the New York Giants, a former first-round pick, a former top-ten pick by the Giants, originally to play tackle, but hasn't really worked out that way for Neal and the Giants. He got benched this season. A former Alabama product, so we know D'Amico Ryans. He's a former Alabama guy himself. He possibly could you know, say, hey, I know this guy has a ton of talent, has a ton of skill. He just hasn't been coached upright. So could Evan Neal be somebody who the Texans buy low on and, you know, come to the Houston Texans, be play maybe a guard, maybe switch him to right tackle? I, I think we're okay. I'd rather go interior than exterior. But Evan Neal, if they're willing to give him away for a low-round pick, could be a name that the Texans could consider. Now, I'm talking about the offensive line, the first two guys I mentioned, offensive linemen. It's because I, uh, I don't have a ton of confidence in this unit. And I don't know how you can after that Thursday night performance up against the Jets. So you let me know down in the comment section your confidence level in the offensive line right now. Because in my opinion, that's number one in my list of what the Texans need to trade for is an offensive lineman. I'm at a two right now. And I think that's being kind of generous, to be honest. I think a two is generous for this offensive line for a quarterback who – I believe is a top five quarterback and you're making him out to be a scrub in this league right now because you can't protect him for more than two seconds. I think this offensive line is cheeks and they need a change immediately. And that's why my third target, also an offensive lineman, Brandon Scherf from the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I know in division trades are a little bit tougher, a little bit more tricky because you know you, it's hard to help out the enemy. But if the Jags lose to the Eagles, there could be a full-on fire sale. I don't even know if Doug Peterson is the coach anymore in Jacksonville if they lose to Philadelphia. And if that's the case, they could be looking to offload some of their veterans like a Scherf. I think he could instantly come in and be an upgrade at the guard position. Just like I said about Dylan Parham, I think he's another guy who instantly comes in and upgrades your offensive line immediately. So this is another name. I would be calling the Jaguars right after the game today, after they lose to the Eagles, which... I'm filming this before, so maybe they win against the Eagles. Who knows? I would call them, though, immediately and try to see what you can trade for Brandon Scherf. I have some more names to mention in just a moment, but today's show is brought to you by our sponsor, Game Time. My place to get last-second tickets, and it should be your place to get last-second tickets as well. Game Time makes getting tickets 
easier. And hey, where are my basketball fans at? The Rockets season just started. They're just underway, and they're actually looking pretty good to start the year. If you want to score some last-second tickets to a Rockets game, maybe a Texans game, it doesn't even have to be a sporting event, a concert, comedy show, whatever, Game Time has you covered. Those all-in prices show what you pay without hidden fees or expenses, and Game Time has zone deals. You pick the section, Game Time picks the seats for an average savings of 18%, but there's more. The best feature on Game Time right now The Game Time Picks. Game Time Picks basically filters out all the fluff so you don't have to spend hours looking through thousands of tickets. It shows you the best bang for your buck, the very best deals that you have on the app. So not only that, you can also get those last-minute tickets. They have tickets all the way up to the start of the event, even an hour after it starts. You can see a panoramic view of your seat inside the app so you don't get bamboozled and buy a seat behind a pole or whatever, you can actually see your seat view from the app and it is the lowest price guaranteed. If you can find a seat to the same event in the same section, same row for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. So there's nothing to lose with our friends over at Game Time. Get started today. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CHATSPORTS. $20 $20 off your first purchase. Download game time today. What time is it? It's game time. Might be game time for this Texans offensive line because my fourth target, another offensive lineman. I'm going to go with Cesar Ruiz from the New Orleans Saints. Now, he's dealt with some injury issues himself this year. I mean, the entire Saints offensive line has been battered and bruised this entire season. Cesar Ruiz recently signed a four-year deal and having a little bit of a down year with the Saints. I know Derek Carr is back today, but could they be sellers at the trade deadline if things don't go their way today? They started off hot, and now they don't look very good. It doesn't look like they're going to win their division or possibly even be in contention for a wild card spot if they lose today. Then you could see them potentially move on from some guys. I know Marshawn Lattimore has also been in the rumor mill, the trade mill. If they're willing to trade a Marshawn Lattimore, That tells me that they're going to be sellers at the trade deadline. So maybe you can call them up and get a guy like Cesar Ruiz to bolster up the interior of your offensive line. And lastly, I'm going with Wyatt Teller of the Cleveland Browns. I know this they've had this somewhat of a resurgence with Jameis Winston and do it for Jameis. He's going to bring us to the promised land. I think that was a one-trick pony. I think that's a one-week flash in the pan. I think they're going to go back to being bad this week. And if that is the case, they could be another team that is looking to sell at the trade deadline because – Honestly, what do they have if, you know, they start losing again? They have a QB on the books who I don't even know if they believe is the future of their franchise. They could be looking to stockpile some draft picks. And I think the Texans and Browns have a pretty good history of trading with each other. So the the door's already open there for a possible trade. Wyatt Teller immediately comes in and bolsters this interior for the Texans. And he just came off IR. I know he's been injured this season, but he's still... On the right side of 30. He's 29 years old. Could be a good option, Nick Casario. I hope you're listening still. I hope you made it past our game time ad read because this is another name, Nick, that you need to consider to trade for at the trade deadline. I have five more offensive linemen options that have been kind of floated around around NFL circles as some kind of trade targets that could be open. Another guy from the Browns, Joel Batonio, could be another option. He's a little bit older, but like I said, Texans, they just need a guy for this season. I hope Next year in the draft and in free agency, they're able to address the offensive line even more. But for right now, a quick fix, Joel Petonio could be that. Andres Pete, another guy for the Las Vegas Raiders, along with Andre James. If they lose today to the Bengals, they could be in full-on sell mode. Those two names are guys that you could consider. Andre Dillard, the former first-round pick for the Philadelphia Eagles, hasn't really panned out. Was drafted to be a left tackle. I actually think he's a little bit better on the interior at guard. Could be an option there. And then Nate Davis for the Chicago Bears has been floated around a ton. I don't absolutely love that because, I mean, we saw the Bears' offensive line versus the Texans' defense. They were bad. So I don't know if Nate Davis is a huge upgrade in my opinion. But another name that has been floated out there. And I know everybody's going to say, but Jeremy, you didn't even mention a receiver, only offensive lineman. That's because, in my opinion, you got to fix the offensive line. I don't care about the receiver position. If you don't fix the offensive line, everything else, throw it out the window. It doesn't matter. But for those who are like, we need enough, or we need a wide receiver, we need a wide receiver. Here's some options, some lower end guys who I think you could possibly get. Kendrick Bourne from the Patriots, Adam Thielen from the Panthers, Jalen Hyatt from the Giants, Josh Palmer 
from the Chiages and KJ Osborne. I believe also from the New England Patriots this season. Those are all names that I would consider some like lower level guys because you have Nico Collins coming back this next week as well. So I don't think you need to trade for a number one, but a role player guy like this, I would consider. But like I said, I'm all in on the offensive line and trading for that. So this needs to be secondary. If you don't trade for an offensive lineman and you trade for one of these guys, the grade's an F because you don't need a receiver. You want a receiver, you need an offensive lineman if you're the Houston Texans. Nick Casero, I pray to God you're still watching this video because please, please, I'm, I'm begging you, trade for an offensive lineman and help out our boy C.J. Stroud because I got guys in the office saying, should the Texans bench C.J. Stroud, which is absolute blasphemy, absolute blasphemy. He is a top five quarterback, and we're talking about how bad he is right now. I can't deal with this offensive line. I just can't deal. Make sure to give me a follow on Twitter at Jeremy Chugs for the latest around the Houston Texans. And always hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. Thank you to each and every one of you who's hit that subscribe button so far for free daily videos around the Houston Texans. I'm Jeremy Chugs. Until next time, Texans fans, have a great day.